Hey everybody. Just wanted to do a quick little movie review of a film that has just kind of blown me away. Not kind of blown me away, completely blown me away. I am blown away. I am blown far, far away into the west. I don't know why into the west, but I'm blown away. That is... Sorry. The Babadook. It's phenomenal. And that is not something I normally say about horror movies. I like horror movies, but usually there are two types of horror movies for me. There's the ones that are, are well made, and I can enjoy them for what they are. Um, that would be movies like the original Halloween, Night of the Living Dead, or more recent movies like Insidious or The Conjuring. Those are well made movies, they have some creepy moments in them, they're good. And then there's most horror movies that are either just terrible or so terrible they're they're kind of funny. Um, but few horror movies, actually none that I can think of, reach heights of being actually great cinema. And this thing does. Holy crap. Not only is it truly frightening, which is also something you will never hear me say about a horror movie. I had chills throughout this whole movie. I was actually frightened. I was watching it alone, late at night. Um, for most of the movie, my dog was sitting on the couch with me, and, you know, there were certain points he'd get up, he'd wander off, he'd do, you know, whatever dogs do when they wander off, play with the cat or sniff something. After about a minute or so, I'd, I'd call him back in and make him sit beside me because I, I just didn't want to be alone while I watched this movie. <laughs> That's how disturbing and unsettling it was. But all that aside, just ignoring all of that, it's so well made. Jennifer Kent, the director of this movie, this is, I, I believe this is her first movie. It's amazing. I can't, I can't believe this is her first movie. And Essie Davis, who plays the mother, the, the main character, her performance is phenomenal. There's especially a, a scene at the end, near the end, that is just amazing. It also gave me chills, but in a different way. It's just great. And I'm going to do a longer video on this here in a few days. Um, but I just bought this, this special edition Blu-ray. Oh, I'll show you here. pretty cool. Sorry, I'm filming in a parking lot. People are looking at me funny. And I'm gonna, but I'm gonna do a longer, um, a longer video on this because I think it, it deserves a more in-depth look at it. And uh, that'll be for, that'll be for people who have seen the movie. You want to see the movie because there'll be spoilers, there'll be discussion of what it means, um, and you don't want to hear that stuff before you've seen the movie, because really, I mean, it will not be as good. You have to see the movie first, going in almost blind, like I did. I knew very little. I knew it was about um, a monster that, you know, stalks a mother and her son after reading a creepy children's book. That's really all I knew. And it was a worth it not knowing much. So yeah, look forward to that here in a few days. The Babadook. It's on Netflix, but just go buy it. Give these people your money. They deserve it. It's an amazing film. It's a tragedy that Jennifer Kent wasn't Jennifer Kent and Essie Davis weren't nominated for anything in the Oscars. That's a tragedy. Um, but it's 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 so amazing. You have to watch it. Alright, so I gotta get to work. I'll talk to you all later. What do I say? Cheers. <laughs> wow. I need to make more of it. I need to make more videos. Can you remember the format of my videos? Cheers. Thanks for watching.